Hockey.com here with senior forward Daniel Jansen. Dan, uh, things going well for you lately here as a team. You guys won 15 straight yourself. Uh, NSIC uh, player of the week the last two weeks. What's uh, what's working well for you personally right now? Um, just everything right now. Honestly, our team is functioning really well on offense. Um, our guards are doing a great job of drawing guys and getting me open looks. Um, you know, last week, uh, well, two weeks ago at Mankato and, and Concordia, Al Richter killed it. Had a great week. He, I think he should have won player of the week. But so coming into this weekend. Teams are hugging them big time. And because we have a player like that, I got more open looks, one-on-one -on -one looks, because they're so worried about Al. So our team's working well, and things are going well. You guys head back to the road this weekend with Winona and Upper Iowa. Uh, obviously, Winona uh, last year uh, kind of stopped you guys' chances for that all right title. You guys kind of looking to get back. Uh, like I said, we uh, things are going pretty well. But you're looking back to get on the road here, getting together as a team, and going after a couple more minutes. Um, Yeah, it's two uh, interesting places to play, tough places to play. Uh, Teams who play solid at home, and so it's just a good road trip. And there's a little bit of chip on our shoulder about what, what Nona happened last year, and so we want to redeem that. But as well, we got a big game versus Upper, Upper Iowa, and so we're just taking it one game at a time and just building on each game. You, yourself, personally, you've had a couple of your best games of your career at Upper Iowa. Uh, like you said, you've had a lot of close contests there. Uh, well, what is it about uh, just kind of a circumstances just happen to play out that way? Um, a little bit of everything. I don't know, circumstances, the way our game plans are set up. Uh, they have a small gym, which I kind of like. I like big gyms, but sometimes it's nice to play in a small gym. Um, I have some buddies who go to uh, you and I that are there, um, so it's always great to see them as well. But nothing specific, just a nice place to play. The games are always a battle. They've had solid teams, and so it's just a nice place to play. Talk a little bit about the game you guys won on Saturday. Minnesota Duluth came in. It took an early lead. I know it was early in the game. It took an early lead, and they were feeling pretty confident about themselves. But then you guys just you know, took over, kept at it close in the first half, and then just uh, came out storming in that second half. What is it about the, the way you guys play that you're able to kind of sustain that throughout the whole 40 minutes, not alone just small spurts? I um I think we're in great shape. I really do. You know, our biggest thing is if they make it, if they miss it, we're running, and I think that's big. Our best offense is just getting out in transition and running, getting early shots up. And then on those early shots, we can get off. It's a rebound. So I just think we're in great shape. And I'm not saying they're not in great shape, but I, th I really think we are. And I've said it multiple times, Jordan and Adam do a great job of pushing that tempo. And they're not content with sitting back and walking it up. They're going, going, going. And because of that, Al Richter's running his lane hard, getting open looks, getting layups. And they're finding me and Casey on the block or in trails. So, you know, they played well. They battled. Al got some tough first half calls, and so that kind of slowed us down a little bit. But getting Al back second half was big. So I don't know. We just keep plugging away and don't let the first half worry. You just go to the second half. Uh, personally, you've had an outstanding year uh, rebounding so far. What's, uh, what's kind of, is that kind of something you looked at that you wanted to, not that you weren't a great rebounder to begin with, but is that something you kind of looked at and said, I want to maybe pick that up a little bit in this area to help our team out? Um, a little bit, yeah. I think rebounds just an effort thing. It really is. And Casey's a prime example of somebody who busts his tail on the rebounds, and he leads our league for a reason. And so um, being able to have two guys in the top five or whatever we are for rebounding is great for our team. And just getting offensive rebounds are easy putbacks or easy looks for three-pointers from our team. So rebounds an effort thing, and I wanted to definitely show the effort on that. All right, Dan, well, congrats on the back-to-back player of the week honors, and good luck this week. Thank you very much.